Hey everybody, it's Joe from Greenlight Sound and GreenlightSound.com here with a video about gain staging. Now, uh, I put out a video a while back called Gain Staging with a VU Meter, and that one applies to any doll you use, and you can certainly gain stage that way, no matter what workstation you're using. But I wanted to go over today a specific way we can gain stage using Studio One 4.5 or higher, I assume, the 4.5 is the newest version as of right now. And this is specific to Studio One because they just came up with a new feature in Studio One that makes it super easy to gain stage. A couple new features, in fact. So the first one that you're going to notice is right on top of each channel down here in the console, I've got new input controls. Now, if you've got Studio One 4.5 and you can't see them, you just got to go over to the wrench right here and you got to click down here to show input controls. So what you see in the console here on the bottom is completely customizable. You can get rid of the sends, you can get rid of the IO connections, and you can add VCA connections, group assignments, channel notes, and so on. But for now, just make sure the input controls is checked off and you will end up having on top of each channel, a trim knob and a polarity knob for phase, um, which is really cool to have that too, but that's not what this video is about. So what I used to have to do in my old workflow, if I wanted to gain stage, if I got tracks that were too hot coming in, I used to have to open a VU meter plugin. I used to have to play the track that I'm trying to hear. In this case, it's a bass track. And then what I'd have to do is, whatever track I'm working with, I'd have to grab the clip gain, pull it down so I'm about at zero in the VU or negative 18 dBFS. And for a more in-depth explanation of why that's what you're shooting for, negative 18 uh, RMS or dBFS, or zero on the VU meter calibrated to negative 18, check out the other video. I'll have a link in here for that one. Um, that'll give you some more in-depth why behind why we gain stage. But for this one, I just want to kind of go over how. I'm going to leave this VU meter up here to show you. It would work the same way if you use the VU meter, but you don't need to. So the first thing you want to do is in your console on the fader here, if I right click where the meter usually is, I can, I already did this, but I can change it from a peak meter which is what it typically is, just showing peaks here, to a peak-RMS. So it'll still show the peaks, but this little white line will show sort of average signal or RMS. I also want to make sure I can do pre-fader metering here. If I don't have pre-fader metering engaged, and I have, let's say, all of my channels muted, and I play, nothing happens on my faders in terms of signal showing up in the fader itself. But if I turn on pre-fader metering, even though the fader is muted, there goes all my signal, which means I can actually gain stage without needing to hear any audio, which is pretty cool. The old workflow would go about soloing each channel up, changing the clip gain, going to the next channel, soloing that up, changing the clip, clip gain, and constantly looking at different VU meters. What we can do now, and if you zoom in right here, you can kind of see it. What we're shooting for is that spot right between negative 12 and negative 24 on the normal meter here, the channel meter. And if you're somewhere in there, you can see it, it's even showing me, I'm around negative 18 if I'm between those two. So if that little white line is hovering between these two, I'm in pretty good shape for game staging. And just to check for accuracy, I'll leave this VU meter up, which is on the same exact channel. So here we go. All I've got to do, no audio is going to play. It can if you want to, but no audio is going to play. You can see it's a little bit hot. It's above 12. I take my trim. Oops, I want to make sure I don't select every channel here. I take my trim. And I keep rolling that trim down. Until the level stays somewhere in between 12 and 24. So I'm right about there, it's hanging out in there, the RMS little white slider in there. Now if I check over at my VU meter again, it has a little bit of overshoot every once in a while, but it's staying around 0 dB. So you can imagine, I could easily just play a loop of audio, which I have engaged right now, a little loop playing. Check these things out. If I have any channels that are too hot, I grab my trim and I just pull it down. Quickly gain stage, pull it down on this channel. Find them around that spot, quickly gain stage. Pulling down here a little bit, pulling on this channel a little bit, pulling down on this channel a little bit. Uh, I usually don't push up too hot if it's lower than a negative 18. So I'm checking for channels that are higher. This one's slightly higher, pull this one down a little bit. And in a matter of a couple of minutes, I could take 
dozens of tracks of audio. I could have the audio playing if I wanted to, but usually if I don't have these all muted, and I, I'm going to turn this, this channel down a little bit just to make sure that I don't kind of overdo things here. You could see the overshoot. It's going to be super loud. Yeah, huge. It would be really hard to listen to that at full volume, and I usually do leave the, the main faders up at full volume. So I can do it without any audio playing and quickly gain stage, and I'll be in the right ballpark and I'll be between this negative 12 and negative 24 on the meter. So if you don't use Studio One 4.5 or later, and you have another DAW, I highly suggest you check out my other video, Gain Staging with a VU Meter, which is a little bit slower of a process, but it'll achieve the same exact result. Um, and if you do have a, another DAW that has this feature of a trim built into the channel, uh, then you're good to go and you can probably do it just like this as well. So don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.